Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Monster Projects. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can access uh, temperatures from your motherboard. So any temperature sensors in your hard drive, graphics cards, CPUs, all can be accessed like this. Okay, so one of the tools that I use to do this is called Speed Fan. Now first of all I'll show you where you can get this from. Go to Google, uh, if you don't know what Google is, why you want a computer, but uh, go to Google and search speed fan simple and you can go to this one the almaco sfdownload.php and you should have downloaded something before but uh, but if you haven't this is how you download something you click on it there so, and save it and then run it but I don't need to okay so I've already got it so I'm just gonna load that up Oops, opening on my other monitor here. It just takes a second to load up. Sorry, I didn't know why, don't know why it's not over there. It just takes a second to load up. Right, here it is. Sorry. Uh, okay, so this is the main user interface. Here we have the CPU usage. This is fans, one of the fans, which you can check, which you should be able to change here, but I can't change this. Cause that's but that's my CPU fan. Uh, this is only for fans that have four pins. So if it's got four pins, then it can be controlled, but I can't control it from here. I don't know why. Okay, here are your temperatures. I'll start from the bottom this time. GPU graphics processing. Uh, so that's your graphics card, basically. Core is your obviously the core, so that is your CPU. Oops, and these arrows, this, this thing's quite good because now it shows that it's gone a little too hot over 40 degrees, but mine averages around 40. Uh, so I don't know what temp one is, but it's always at 30. Okay, hard drive 0 and hard drive 1, these are just two different hard drives I have. And then temp, tw temp 2 and temp 1, these are just ambient temperature sensors. Uh, I'm not sure where these are. I think one of them might be in my power supply, and the other one's part of the motherboard. Okay, here you have a list of voltages. But we we're just showing you how to access temperature sensors. You can have a look at all the different features of this because it is quite good. You can look at a graph here, and you can tell it to show graph temp temperatures. It's quite a useful thing. Uh, so basically this is it, you've got all your temperatures here it's good for keeping an eye on your component, it's making sure none of them are getting too hot uh, core temperature, I've had this down to one one degrees before, just using air cooling I've got a couple of case fans and a standard stock cooler, I don't know how I did it but it just went down to one I wasn't even idle, I was, had other things on but uh, thank you for watching this, I hope it's helped uh, I did not make this software, and I please don't ask me questions about it. You should go to the person who did make it, not me. So I hope this has helped. Thank you for watching. Please look out for other tutorials on my YouTube channel. <laughs>